Now, there are some reports during this period, however, of mob safe houses being attacked by entire hit squads. Other reports have certain individuals, sometimes even entire operations, simply vanishing as if they were never there. Now, one soldier, no matter how skilled, simply is not Enough, capable. Senator. It's like you people haven't heard a word I've said. Lincoln played it smart, always. I need to look at our options, come up with a plan. If the best play was to silently neutralize all the muscle in a joint, well, he was more than proficient in the art of the covert takedown. Hell, sometimes he even left a few breathing to have a chat with them later. I don't know anything. Let me tell you, Senator. The biggest weapon isn't worth a damn if the other guy can take it away from you before you even know he's there. If the smart move was to trade blows, make examples out of a few guys, then no one did public and brutal like Lincoln Clay. The last place in the world you'd want to be is in a fist fight with that man. It didn't matter how hard you hit him, he never, ever stopped moving forward. Muscle alone doesn't make you ruthless. You have to be willing to bite and claw and scrape and do what no one else will do to stay alive. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of them. If you were vulnerable to being surgically picked apart from a distance, then no amount of guards would keep Lincoln from staying low, probing for weakness, and finding the perfect sight line. If the situation was less subtle, then he could go in guns blazing. You've never seen shock and awe like that, gentlemen. An olive green angel of death. The truth is, to his enemies, Lincoln Clay was a walking nightmare. He could hurt Sal Marcano and his crew in a hundred different ways. One thing we do agree on, Senator, no matter how it happens, all that really matters about any fight is how it ends. And who's left standing when it's over?